Hey everyone, welcome to June Tunes. This week we're going to talk about my favorite tool, a little bit about my personal history with it, and I'll give you a brief demo on how to use it. It's called beatbox.co, that's the URL, that's all you need, and it's in the description. A friend told me about this in high school, and I have fallen in love with it. Uh, every game I worked on in college that I had the privilege of putting music into, I used beatbox to make that music. So that's eight or nine or so times I made a game soundtrack using this tool. It is entirely within the browser, so there's no need to download anything. All data about the song is encoded in the URL right up here. You copy and paste it to save. This allows for an entire album to be a text file, as I'll show you. It also allows for iterative work. If you save the link at any given time, you can go back to that later. So this is what the interface looks like. You see that this is version 4.1. It has changed quite a bit since I first used it. There's now a lot more options. Uh, the info down below gives you more minute details. If you'd like to follow suit, you can take a look at those. So this is a very basic interface. Uh, you can see that we're limited to a certain scale. When you click, you hear the note. Like that, and then you play. Square wave, okay, that's a classic here. And that just instantly feels like a video game. What's cool is we can look at this. So these links, are what I did to make uh, 16th Avenue, which is my personally made title for Taylor Swift's I Think He Knows. Those changes I made here encoded in the URL, which is cool, but if I paste in my new URL and go to it, you can see there's multiple channels here. Uh, the orange one's typically the lowest, uh, and then the percussion is simple. Yep, and then here comes the main melody. Again, this iterative process makes it really easy to see every step of the way. It would be a lot harder to see this in like a proper uh, workstation like, I don't know, LMMS is a one I've used in the past, which is also free. You don't need to spend money to be able to make music. Another appeal of this tool that I really like is that it is limiting, and I feel like creativity is really helped by limitations. So let's listen to the new part of the song here. That's how far I got, that was in, into the chorus. Uh, let's jump ahead to five hours. I'm finally using the third voice here to add, uh, I don't know what you would call it, but it's like bonus vocals at that point in the song. The percussion seems to have changed as well, so let's start it from here. Yep, now it's new. And here comes the blue voice. There it is in unison. I think he knows. I don't sing, so I don't think that any singing is going to happen. Uh, I also made some pixel art. That was using a different software. That's not what we're here to talk about. But uh, anyway, long story short, the, the backstory for the song is that I lived on 17th Avenue, so then I would walk home on 16th Avenue. So I took a picture of the sign and then I made it look like a Game Boy game. Uh, I'll show that at some other time. Uh, so then here's the final version which uh, I've used in the background of YouTube videos on this channel. Oh, but there's like a, what I like to call the good part. Like there's a part in the song, you know, like the songs have like an A part, B part, C part, and I wish that they did more with it, so I made it repeat. That's just one of the choices you can make when you're making remixes. So I think this is it. Yep. Blue voice on top. Bring it home. A little bridge here. Let's uh, wrap it up. So that's just an example of what this tool is like. Uh, everything you need is free. Everything I learned about this besides, you know, having a background playing piano. I'm not here to talk about music. I'm here to talk about making music and I'm here to talk about tools and I'm here to talk about the joy 
of little chiptune things like this. And as June goes on, I will continue to produce more songs. It will culminate with an album being made on my Bandcamp. Thank you so much for watching.